In 2023, SpaceX indisputably notched a string of triumphs with two fully integrated Starship launches, each carrying with it both successes and invaluable lessons for the company. These accomplishments, though they might appear as mere particles in the vast expanse of space technology, have allowed SpaceX to radiate brightly, distinguishing itself within the crowded arena of global competitors. However, the looming question remains, what lies ahead for Starship in the upcoming year? 2024 is shaping up to be an incredibly eventful year for Starship, courtesy of SpaceX's propensity for constant innovation. This year will hold pivotal significance setting the groundwork for critical missions such as Artemis in the foreseeable future. So, what's in store for SpaceX's agenda in 2024? How might these plans influence the trajectory of the ambitious Starship project? Tune in to today's episode of Alpha Tech to delve into the comprehensive details. When the dust settled from the second orbital test flight of Starship, SpaceX swiftly plunged into ambitious plans for its future spacecraft. The focal point revolves around significant upgrades and alterations, showcasing an unwavering commitment to continuous improvement and optimization of the spacecraft's capabilities. SpaceX currently intends to undertake 144 missions next year, marking an increase of 44 missions compared to the goal of 100 set for this year. Although the Falcon 9 contributes significantly to this objective, there is a belief that Starship will gradually expand its influence on SpaceX's activities, especially following the recent flight. If all goes well with the vehicle and licensing procedures, SpaceX could potentially launch up to four or five Starship flights next year. This translates to a Starship flight every two and a half months in the upcoming year. In preparation for the initial campaign to transform Starship into an interplanetary transport vehicle, SpaceX is currently ramping up its rocket production. Presently, SpaceX commands the operational prowess of Prototype S-26, a functional tanker, while the primary prototypes, S-28, 29, 30, and 31, loom as the core fleet. The ascent of S-32 hints at a culmination in the final stages of preparation. Among the booster prototypes, B-10 stands poised, primed for testing, while B-11, 12, and possibly 13 and 14 undergo the intricate dance of assembly, testing, and engine installation. Eager anticipation engulfs us as the horizon shimmers with the imminent arrival of the new Starship generation. Elon Musk's recent declaration, tethering us to the mere existence of four remaining prototypes of Starship version 1, heralds the impending evolution. Starship version 2 emerges taller, broader, cradling vast reservoirs of fuel and brimming with additional engines, poised to transform into a magnificent titan surpassing its current iteration. Yet its full majesty shall only unveil itself in the year of 2024, demanding our patience for the unveiling of its rigorous testing and operational exploits. Speaking of resuming the Starship saga in 2024, the forthcoming star of the show, Ship 28, may take center stage for the third orbital test flight, potentially in the company of Booster 10. A prophecy whispers of February or March of 2024 as the timeline for a rehearsal at the launch site, teasing static fire tests, perhaps earlier than ever before. The accelerated tempo, a testament to the triumphant strides from IFT 1 to 2, heralds a noteworthy leap forward. As the curtains part for 2024, SpaceX braces for an epoch of celestial choreography, choreographed by Starship's imperative duties. First in line, NASA unveils a fresh mission blueprint, tasking Starship with an ethereal ballet, performing in-space fuel transfers for IFT-3. Next on the Cosmic Playbill, a cargo-laden starship set to grace the celestial stage in 2024, a forecast that feels fittingly inevitable. Yet amongst these celestial dances, an audacious feat beckons, a grand odyssey. SpaceX charts a course toward a resounding recovery in the subsequent year's third quarter. Brace yourself, for this is no fiction. It's the enthralling drama of reality. Picture the grand spectacle, Mechazilla's grasp reaching to pluck the super heavy or the upper stage from the heavens itself. 
This is not a tale spun in the cosmos. It's a tangible, impending marvel. In addition to vehicles, the launch system also plays a crucial role. Following the recent flight, the launch system primarily remains in good condition, free from major issues. This is attributed to upgrades implemented over the previous seven months, notably the Water Deluge system. However, considering the tight launch schedule next year, the lone launch system in Texas might not suffice. Therefore, SpaceX has developed an additional launch system in Florida, where challenges in launch approval have been alleviated due to NASA's protection. In the upcoming year, SpaceX aims to complete final upgrades to ensure it is perpetually ready for Starship launches. This system will share the workload with the launch tower in Texas, if SpaceX intends to conduct four or five Starship launches next year. Additionally, as it is built at NASA's Launch Center in Florida, it is primed to serve as the primary system for the HLS Starship launch mission to transport crew to the moon. Apart from these two systems, SpaceX might contemplate constructing a second orbital launch system at Starbase Texas. Although these blueprints lack clarity presently due to the tight schedule for Starship next year and impending crucial missions in the following years, construction of the system could commence as early as 2024 if the plan materializes. If 2023 can be described as a transformative and dynamic year for Starship, then 2024 marks the colossal stride of the giant towards the ambitious venture of venturing into space with the closest destination being the moon. As mentioned earlier, the third flight of Starship will encompass the endeavor of propellant transfer in space. This capability is essential for enabling deep space missions and is a crucial component of NASA's Artemis moon plans. When Starship can demonstrate this capability, it can then proceed to perform the process of fueling between two Starships. According to NASA's original schedule, if everything aligns, this is expected to take place at the end of 2024, allowing for an official return to the moon in 2025. The massive spacecraft won't have enough propellant left over to traverse the 238,900-mile or 384,472-kilometer void between our home planet and the moon after the initial launch process. As of now, SpaceX acknowledges it has to launch more than a dozen Starship tankers to refuel one spacecraft destined for the moon, said Wayne Hale, the chair of the NASA Advisory Council's Human Exploration and Operations Committee, during an interview. That's because of the Starship's immense size. Just getting the vehicle into space requires it to burn through the majority of its fuel. And while Starship can hold up to 3 million or 1,500 metric tons of propellant, the spacecraft itself is only capable of hauling up to 55,000 pounds or 250 metric tons of extra cargo to orbit, according to data published by SpaceX and the FAA. So they've got to take that rocket that we saw demonstrated and be able to fly 12, 15 more times for each lunar landing, Hale said. That's going to be an impressive feat. They've got to learn how to do that, where it's successful and reliable every time, and they've got to do that in a very short period of time. This will affect being able to recover and rapidly reuse both the Starship spacecraft and the Super Heavy Booster essential capabilities to SpaceX's long-term goals. Such features would make the rocket system affordable and nimble enough to rapidly conduct all the launches necessary to get the vehicle to the moon. But with many milestones left to hit, it's clear that even if the next Starship test flight is wholly successful, a moon landing will remain on the distant horizon. Musk previously acknowledged in 2020 that he hopes SpaceX will launch hundreds of missions with satellites before attempting a flight with the crew. SpaceX also must build and test the versions of Starship that will serve as refueling tankers. A lander must be outfitted with life support equipment, and NASA will require Starship to make an uncrewed test landing on the moon before allowing its astronauts on board. Still, SpaceX emphasized that explosive failures can be integral to its development process process, which embraces fiery mishaps in the early stages of designing a rocket to learn how to build a better rocket faster than if the company solely relied on ground tests. Though SpaceX's failed test flights garner plenty of critics, it does not mean that the company is moving more slowly or costing more money than if NASA had attempted to develop a lunar lander itself. All said and done, NASA will pay SpaceX about $4 billion for two lunar landings. 
The company has already invested more than $3 billion in developing its South Texas launch facility and the Starship Super Heavy launch system since 2014, according to the FAA core filing dated May 19th. For comparison, the SLS rocket and Orion spacecraft that NASA developed for the Artemis program have together cost more than $44 billion US dollars since 2006, according to data aggregated by the nonprofit Planetary Society. That rocket system had its first flight test last year. Under NASA's current plans, the SLS and Orion would transport astronauts from Earth to lunar orbit while Starship would complete the final leg of the journey, ferrying them from the Orion spacecraft to the moon's surface. But Hale noted that SpaceX doesn't use the same development approach as NASA. The space agency spends years on careful design and rigorous ground testing, all but guaranteeing success on the first flight. In contrast, SpaceX wants to put early prototypes in the air, accepting that they may explode, but will likely provide valuable information for future testing. This is a different paradigm, Hale said, of Starship development. The government, when you're working with the taxpayers' dollars, you really want to be careful and make sure you succeed. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comment section down below, because your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. And so for that, once again, we thank you so much, and we hope to see you again next time. Happy holidays!